currently all maximum level prisons in the state of Michigan patrol the grounds 24-7, 365 days a year. Cutting this operation will save the state of Michigan $13 million. Officials say those officers performing this task will be working inside the facility. Some say this runs the risk of weapons being tossed over fences. You're going to be getting cell phones, which is big for the prisoners to have right now, guns, ammunition, and drugs. And that's very dangerous to have inside the prison. It's putting staff at risk for their lives. Each prison facility has to come up with a plan of action that will increase internal security. Each prison's layout is different. Some are hidden away on back roads, others are located in populated cities. Therefore, each facility is responsible for identifying where and what types of security increases need to be made. They plan to increase external and internal surveillance systems with better technology. Michael Curley, the warden at Barriga Maximum Correctional Facility, says this change will not weaken security. The technology is out there to accomplish the same thing. Um, we will, all of us will take a look at our staffing charts and our manning and adjust that so we still have the ability to um, conduct a rapid response when necessary as it relates to, as it relates to a alert response vehicles slash perimeter security vehicles.